Hi everyone. Here I am at Menzel Centennial Provincial Nature Reserve, one of Ont Southern Ontario's uh, largest parks just north of Napanee. It's a nature reserve park and therefore is being left primarily undisturbed for the future. We're going to take a bit of a tour here today and I'll show you some of the main features of the park. It's August 17th, 2017 and it's mostly sunny and about 25 degrees. So here we are at the main kiosk at the entrance to the park. This just shows a map and some written description about how the park was established in 1993. And as a ecologist for the Ministry of Natural Resources at that time I was involved fairly heavily in um, getting this park initially uh, up and running I guess. Um, I found out through an, uh, another person that the land here was for sale and we passed that on to the Ministry of Natural Resources and luckily they were at the time uh, had a um, interested party in the Nature Conservancy of Canada who had a a donor who wanted to uh, donate money to buy such a and protect such an area. So that got off the ground and was established in 1993. In those first few years I was involved in doing an inventory of the natural features of the site. Here this map shows the main trail going back to the lake, Mud Lake. It's also a provincially significant ANSI. So one of the main donors of the park, Mr. Bill Menzel, uh, decided to donate this property um, in memory of his former wife, uh, Oivy Menzel, who passed away in 1974. Originally he had planned to uh, possibly purchase land in the tropics but then realized that there was also land in Canada and Ontario that needed protecting. So he decided to put some money behind this project and luckily we were able to get the initial 800 acres or so and then since then it's grown to over 1400 acres in size. So we're going to follow the main trail back to the lake now and I'll just stop along the way here and there to show some of the features. So as we start back along the trail, we wind through an area of fields and growing in uh, old pasture lands. When we initially started acquiring this land in the early 90s, this was very field-like here. And now you can see that it has grown in to a large extent with red cedar and is transitioning to a more forested landscape. After a few hundred meters you come into the first area of wetland which is a swamp forest and we're just going to be entering into that little dark area up there and before long we'll be on to a boardwalk. So here we are going along the first section of boardwalk through a forested swamp. It's actually a fairly uh, different kind of swamp. It's a, a lot of tamarack or larch and alder. So it's quite short in stature. And this, these boardwalks were put in through the funding of Mr. Menzel, the main donor in the property. They used to, as you, when you came in here in the early 90s, you'd often have to walk through some fairly extensive flooded areas that could be up to your knees on this entrance road, which was put in many years ago, I guess, by, a, by the landowner just as a sort of a rough road. 
see there is some purple loose strife growing along here. Also alder and larch, a lot of willows. And off to the left here we got some uh, dwarf birch growing in. There's a lot of different sedges and ferns as you can imagine growing in such a damp area. Okay, we've come through the first boardwalk area and are now coming into a small upland area that's mostly becoming forested again. Once again, when I first started coming here in the early 90s, this area was mostly fields, believe it or not. Now, once again, the red cedar is pretty well grown up into a forest or a young forest. And this continues on up to a slight knoll and then descends to the second boardwalk area. And that's where we'll pick up next. Here's an old gravel pit where they took a lot of the gravel out for the original road. You can see it's recovered quite a bit over the years. Lots of uh, goldenrod and um, red cedar, white cedar, common juniper growing in. You'd hardly know it was a gravel pit except for all the gravel still exposed. Luna trying to escape the deer flies in the shade of the cedar tree. Here's the second area of boardwalk just before the lake and this goes alongside a short shrub fen which you can see out here to the west. And there's larch and various bog type shrubs growing out there leather leaf and Andromeda Glockophylla. I see some Phragmites up against the side here, some of which is probably native Phragmites. And then there's cattails out there and various orchids. Um, lit, uh, pink. Calipogon and grass pink. Boy, the deer flies are bad today. They're biting my hands and Luna's head pretty severely even though it's August 17th. So here we are at the lake, Mud Lake. Luna's looking at that water invitingly after being bitten severely by deer flies on the way in today. This lake is about 150 acres in size and totally surrounded by forest. And you actually feel like you're way up north here. I'll zoom into the other side and you can get a sense of what I mean. A lot of tamarack over there and red maple swamp. And then a few upland areas in behind that you can see. Very quiet. We're only 10 minutes north of the 401 highway. It's a nice place to canoe if you don't mind portaging your canoe in here for about a mile. Very pretty little spot though. And here's the, the end of the trail is. There's a picnic table for people wanting to eat their lunch. And just a little area. Bit of an opening. I guess that's about it. Mm -hmm. Hope
Hope you've enjoyed this trek into Menzel Centennial Provincial Nature Reserve. Thanks everybody and come along on my next outing.